Late Thursday afternoon, Royal Caribbean announced that they have also extended their return to service date until June 12th. A note on the Cruise Line website says, After consulting with our partners at the Cruise Line International Association and in conjunction with the CDC, our global suspension has been extended. All sailings departing on or before June 11th will be canceled. The cruise line is offering 125% future cruise credit or a full refund. On a conference call Thursday afternoon with media, Carnival Corporation CEO Arnold Donald tackled some questions when asked if the CDC's no sale order changed anything moving forward. It didn't change what we were planning to do. You know, it's the earliest of three things. When HHS lists the emergency classification or if the CDC director chooses to lift the no-sale ban, or, you know, 100 days, whichever occurs first. And when asked if they were considering moving their ship's registry from Panama to the U.S.? No, not at this time. You know, we um, do have some operations um, based here in the U.S., but we're not considering, you know, re-establishing you know, our incorporation. You can read a full recap of the call at cruiseradio.net. And Viking Cruises officially opened bookings for their Mississippi River Cruises in 2022. The 378-guest Viking Mississippi will offer four different inaugural itineraries, 8 to 15 days from New Orleans, St. Louis, Memphis, and Minneapolis. Prices start at $3,600 per guest. And bids to build the new cruise terminal in Panama have been put on hold over the worldwide pandemic. Once the new terminal is complete, it'll be able to accommodate two 1,200-foot-long cruise ships. And cruise stocks fell a little bit on Thursday. Carnival Corporation closed at 11.83, down 4%. Norwegian Holdings, 11.31, down 6%. And Royal Caribbean at 34.00, down 8%. You can find more stories at cruiseradio.net. Doug Parker, Cruise Radio News.